The good shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. Today, this Monday, in the third week of Easter, the Holy Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Anna Kirk, who died recently, and whose funeral took place last Friday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen was filled with grace and power and began to work miracles and great signs among the people. But then certain people came forward to debate with Stephen, some from Cyrene and Alexandria, who were members of the synagogue called the Synagogue of Freedmen, and others from Cilicia and Asia. They found they could not get the better of him because of his wisdom and because it was the spirit that prompted what he said. So they procured some men to say, We heard him using blasphemous language against Moses and against God. Having in this way turned the people against him, as well as the elders and scribes, they took Stephen by surprise and arrested him and brought him before the Sanhedrin. There they put up false witnesses to say, This man is always making speeches against this holy place and the law. We have heard him say that Jesus, the Nazarene, is going to destroy this place and alter the traditions that Moses handed down to us. The members of the Sanhedrin all looked intently at Stephen, and his face appeared to them like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Though princes sit plotting against me, I ponder on your statutes. Your will is my delight. Your statutes are my counsellors. I declared my ways and you answered. Teach me your statutes. Make me grasp the way of your precepts and I will muse on your wonders. Keep me from the way of error and teach me your law. I have chosen the way of truth with your decrees before me. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe, Thomas, because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the five thousand, his disciples saw him walking on the water. Next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side saw that only one boat had been there and that Jesus had got into the boat with his disciples, but that the disciples had set off by themselves. 
Other boats, however, had to put in from Tiberias, near the place where the bread had been eaten. When the people saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into these boats and crossed to Capernaum to look for Jesus. When they found him on the other side, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, you are not looking for me because you have seen the signs, but because you had all the bread you wanted to eat. Do not work for the food that cannot last, but work for food that endures to eternal life, the kind of food the Son of Man is offering you, for in him the Father, God himself, has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do if we are to do the works that God wants? Jesus gave them this answer. This is working for God. You must believe in the one he has sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us turn with loving confidence to our Father God and ask him for some of our special petitions on this day of Eastertide. Let us pray for our Holy Father the Pope that he may continue to lead the Church with faith, courage and integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Bishop Alan that he may be a true shepherd to the flock entrusted to his care in this family of our diocese. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all priests and those who minister to those sick and suffering, that they may have the courage and the tenderness of the Good Shepherd. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those who are in any special need at this time, especially those who are sick, alone, at home or in hospital. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in the resurrection of your Son. Grant us those petitions we place before your throne of mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives for ever. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit. May become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you. So that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse. With your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope, to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervour of the saints.
Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just two things. Um, the May edition of the Magnificat booklet is available. I'll leave a weatherproof box with them in on the bench in the memorial garden. So if anybody wants to take a copy of the Magnificat for the month of May, please feel free to go and take one. You can either leave the monies for this in the box itself or put the money through the presbytery letterbox. That's the May version of the Magnificat, which will be on a bench in the memorial garden throughout this week. And then, as I already published, we're going to pray the Holy Rosary each weekday evening throughout the month of May. So that's beginning this Friday. If you have any particular prayer intentions or petitions that you'd like to have prayed for during the rosary and that we could indeed announce, then please send them in to me. The best way is to email them to me. They can be anonymous, in fact, if you wish. Um, obviously, I'll know who the sender is, but you don't have to mention names in the particular prayers, but you might want to have some special intention or some need at this time prayed for during the rosary throughout May please do send these in and we can announce these petitions and prayers as we go each evening praying the rosary. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Joseph, pray for us. Holy guardian angel, 